all right guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel um so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it me and my husband are now expecting yay we're expecting our second child and the baby is due march 25th in this video i'm gonna basically be explaining to you guys this is not just a pregnancy update but this is going to be a explanation of why i did not know i was pregnant um you know the keto diet and how it kind of affected everything and um just some other things here and there that i have been going through this past summer that kind of just like threw me off so without further ado here goes and i am just like randomly doing this video i just want i know i needed to do it soon but um i don't have any makeup on or anything like that so this is just gonna be an on the fly type of video so um i am <laughs> to those of you who are new to my channel this is c2 random i am married i have a four-year-old son i've had hormone issues over the past few years i was one of those people who i didn't even think that i could get pregnant let alone be on my second child so i'm gonna give you guys a brief backstory kind of like what happened with my first pregnancy when i got pregnant with my son my my oldest son jeremiah um i that i did not actually get pregnant on my own i was actually taking um some pills i don't even remember what name that was i know that's terrible but i was actually taking some some pills to actually help balance my hormones because my periods were so irregular and when they would come on they would be so heavy mind you you know i was about 80 pounds heavier than i am now so um that had a lot to do with all of the issues that i was having now that i know now that i'm older now that i know this is four or five years ago so i was taking those little pills for a few days and i felt great after you know after taking them for about two months i felt wonderful i had way more energy i mean i just felt like myself you know i felt like i was feeling good so um long story short i got pregnant with my son and that's how that happened and you know I, this was before i even thought about losing weight so fast forward to about 2016 i started doing keto i started doing keto and you guys the weight just the weight just dropped off fast if you don't know what keto is there's tons of videos out there i'm sure everybody knows what keto is by now but keto basically balanced my hormones and i can tell you guys that after doing keto and when i started keto i never had a full regular period i'm telling you my periods were so irregular i hadn't had a, a regular period since i was 12 years old so i was very happy about that um i did not do birth control i was not on birth control because y'all already know for those of you who've been following me for a while i do not like birth control birth control just does not do me right um depo just really just screws everything up for me i was on depo for a few years before I had my son and it just really kind of just that was kind of where everything kind of just messed up the birth control really just kind of blew everything up for me and I just decided that after I was gonna after I had my son that I was just not going to do the birth control I did the pill I did the shot I did the uh, the IUD and all of it was just not really it just really did not do me right I was having a lot of issues with them um, a lot of gallbladder pain for those of you who have gallbladder you know issues it might have something to do with the hormones because your gallbladder is connected to your liver so and your liver is basically the the purification system of your body and if you're putting so many hormones in it mind you there's so many hormones in our food what we're drinking you know just a lot of things that are wrecking havoc on our body so when you add hormones to that birth control estrogen it just really does throw you off and that's kind of what happened to me it, it just really threw me off so I decided that I was not going to do birth control. Me and my husband were just going to be very careful. Um, I downloaded the app on my phone, 
the Flow app. It was wonderful. You know, we were very careful. You know, we we practiced safe, um, preventive pregnancy practices and all that kind of things. So, so we did it for four, three, four years, and it, it worked very well. It was very effective. Um, but <laughs> this summer, um, I, so I'm going to fast forward to this year. Um, you know, mind you, I've lost, you know, the majority of my weight. In February, I switched jobs. I was working in corporate America. I didn't like that. Decided that I wanted to freelance and do my own thing. And, you know, I was it was going great. Everything was going good. We got to May, and I started having some issues with that job and the people that I was working with. And I just kind of was just getting in a really bad mood about that. I was just really stressed out about that. Things were going really, really great. March, April, got to May, and things just, just went really downhill for me. Um, it just went really, really, really bad. So um, I actually started looking for jobs. I had started my job search the end of May, beginning of June, and that's when I started looking for jobs like crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to hit the pavement. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get out of that place. I'm willing to go out of state. I'm willing to relocate. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get myself out of that situation. With me, if I'm working somewhere that I am not comfortable and it's just I'm, my soul is not in it and I'm not feeling it and my, my spirit is like, no, I am going to do whatever it takes to get out of there. And that's just, you know, how I felt about that. Because I was working in corporate America. I was working at a bank. And, um, you know, it was good benefits. The pay was pretty decent considering where I lived. Um, you know, I got weekends off, holidays, that kind of thing. That's the, the dream thing that everybody wants, especially here in a small town where I live. So I only worked there for six months. And when I quit, people looked at me and they thought I was crazy. They thought I was insane. But I'm forever an entrepreneur. I just love being my own boss. I love doing my own thing, um, if you can't tell. <laughs> but um, anyway, fast forward. Uh, so... <sighs> Cause I finished my degree in September. So, um, and I already have an associates. I already have one. So I was just trying to like really, really, really just get up out of there and find jobs. So that was really my focus. Plus I'm, I really, really want to move. I mean, me and my husband want to buy a house and we're not there yet. So I'm trying to position myself to get those things and to, you know, be able to, have those things yes i do youtube but you know baby youtube is not paying like that <laughs> i'm not even doing it consistent enough for youtube to work for me as a full-time gig at least not yet so we get to june and um i'm going to texas i'm going to atlanta i'm I mean, I'm really, really traveling to just try to get a job and um, just nothing seems to be working out for me. So um, I decide that, you know, if I were to get pregnant, I need to prevent that. We like, we really, really need to prevent that. So, um, you know, how babies are made <laughs> or whatever. So I don't want to have a baby. Like I, we wanted to eventually have another child, but it just wasn't in, I, it, for me, my husband was really, he really wanted another child. But for me, considering what I was trying to do and, you know, relocate and try to find another job and do all of these different things, I felt like a child was just not going to be feasible for us right now. Um, however, God had other plans because um, I did end up taking the morning after pill. Um, and this is this is just how funny it is. This is just how like really really just interesting and scary this is. I took the morning after pill. I ovulated. I remember because I have the little app on my phone. And I guess that week I just wasn't really paying attention because I was so. I mean, y'all, when I'm telling you, I, my tunnel vision was on 100. I was only focused on just that and that alone, and it just contributed to so much stress for me. So when I tell you that I ovulated on July the 2nd. I had to have ovulated on July the 2nd. Um, and I took the morning after pill the next day. The next day. It hadn't even been 12 hours yet. And I took the plan B one step. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a 
Um, it's not an abortion pill. It's not something that's going to like give you an abortion or something like that. It's, it's not anything like that. It basically just helps to prevent a uh, pregnancy after unprotected sex. So if you've had sex with somebody and y'all done had some unprotected sex and things just some liquids went over here and over there then you know plan b one step is something that you could definitely look into now mind you plan b one step ain't cheap it's one pill and you paying basically fifty dollars for one pill so i took and it was funny because i had a job interview in atlanta the same day july 3rd and i on the way up there i actually stopped at like a target and i bought this i didn't tell my husband about it because i felt like maybe he would be upset about it which he was eventually and I took the pill and I'm like, okay, so this is over with, this is done with. And plan B one step is basically like a high dosage of birth control. That's really all it is. It's an extreme high dosage of birth control. And knowingly knowing that I have, you know, had issues with birth control and hormone stuff in the past, I just, it's just something that I was just willing to take. It was a risk that I was just willing to take. Um, you know, we all just do what we got to do in times of need. I'm not perfect that I'm not trying to like ever put myself out there like I am because, you know, it is what it is. I'm human. And, you know, in that time, I just was not, I'm not, I, I'm not ready to have a baby. You know, this is what I'm, I'm trying to do. And I just feel like a baby would just make things more difficult. So when I tell you I took that pill, you guys, and... I took the pill and the whole month of July was hell for me. I mean, I had, I was, my energy levels went from zero, from went from a hundred to a zero. I mean, you, if you know what keto does for you, not, and I quit doing keto. Like I started actually, um, you know, eating more carbs and, you know, eating things that I wouldn't otherwise eat before then. So I'm just thinking that all of these things attributed to why I was feeling so bad. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get back on it or I'm going to start back working out and I'm just going to clean up my diet and just really, really try to focus and get myself back to the way I was. Um, at that point, I just wasn't interested in doing keto because for some reason, I just, now that I know, um, some reason I just wasn't, you know, I just really didn't feel like doing the extreme dieting thing at that point. So the whole month of July was disgusting for me. I was tired and I was just in a really bad environment with the people that I work with. I'm still working at this terrible job. Um, it was just terrible. <laughs> I just went, it just was really terrible. My skin was ridiculous. It was disgusting. Um, I actually put a video up. Uh, I forgot what the name of it is called, but I'll put it up here somewhere. I actually put a video up and I was basically talking about why I just feel depressed. I mean, I just went into this really dark place in July. Um, you know, I got into, I was just very annoyed with everything, just very moody. Me and my husband were like always arguing about everything. It would just be the littlest, smallest things. So I start to, um, you know, look up Plan B One Step and I'm looking at the reviews and a lot of other women are saying, you know, they haven't gotten their period and they feel this way and they feel that way and basically the same way I felt. Most of the people that actually did the reviews were taking um, pregnancy tests just to confirm that they weren't pregnant, but I decided that I wasn't going to do that because there was just no possible way that I was pregnant. You know, I, at this point, I did not get my period, but you know, my periods... I've had a history of having irregular cycles, so I really didn't think that it was like that because birth control, it always does me like that. I mean, it always kind of makes my period irregular to where it's like not balancing. So um, I started noticing a lot of hair growth. I mean, I'm, I mean, I got really hairy and I'm not talking about just like facial hair growth. I'm talking about like... You know, I, I'm I'm always I'm I've always been kind of on the hairy side, but you know, after doing keto, the hair growth was not it was nowhere near how it used to be, and it was just it was happening to me like it like I was on birth control again, like so I'm like okay, so maybe this is just that pill, and you know, I was seeing reviews of women who hadn't gotten their period in three months and thir two months, and I'm like okay, so this is just normal. Um, you know, and I also had a cousin that 
took the pill as well and she was having irregular periods too so i was like okay you know so this is just normal okay so we get to august i still haven't gotten my energy back i'm even more moodier i'm like I, I, I can't even get myself out of bed. Um, I begin to get really emotional about everything. Everything just really kind of, I would just, I would just have episodes where I would just break down in tears and I just was feeling really, really low. And at, in August, I, it was when I decided that I just had to get out of that place that I was in. I had to get out of um, the place that I was working at, it just was not working out. Those people were not doing me right. It was just really, really messed up. Just a really, really bad situation. It wasn't the job itself that really p just kind of like got to me. It was the people. It was the way they were doing things and the way they were running things. But that is a completely different story. Um, so I am just trying to focus on uh, August. I'm just trying to focus on graduation. I graduated in September. Um, you know, my baby's birthday is coming up in October. He just celebrated his fourth birthday. So I'm really just trying to focus on that. I'm still job searching, still trying to find another job. Um, at this point, I actually found a job working at home with this company um, as an independent contractor. And, you know, it wasn't the pay isn't wasn't all that great. But, <laughs> you know, it was um, it was it was a pay, you know, I'm, I'm able to pay my bills and I'm able to just, you know, make it or whatever. So we get to September and I'm still just like feeling really shitty. <laughs> Things just, just don't really get better. I mean, I was just really in a dark place from July all the way up until pretty much recently at this point. Um, it's October the 30th today. So Things just got really, really bad for me. Um, I was just, I, I was just in a really, 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 really dark place. So um, we get to the first two weeks. Let's say the first week in October, and I'm really feeling feeling a lot of pressure. Mind you, guys, I just found out that I was pregnant two weeks ago. So um, I'm feeling a lot of pressure in my pelvic area and um i haven't had a pap smear in a while you know, ladies make sure y'all go get those pap smears every year like go every single year even if you and are with one person even if you are not really extremely sexually active you need to really go get them things done get go go get an exam go see your ob do that um because I haven't been going. I really haven't. And to be honest with you guys, I don't think I have been. I don't think I've had a pap smear until after I had my son. And that was four years ago. So I know that's terrible. It's just terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, <laughs> anyway, I start feeling a lot of pressure in my uterus. So I'm thinking, okay, I haven't had a period. Um, maybe this is just like uh, some kind of you know, the blood or whatever is, I don't know what I was thinking, y'all, <laughs> don't judge me, but it's, I thought that maybe, um, my uterus, because I hadn't bled in so long, that the, it was just thickening, and, you know, it was just all of that, and all of that coming up, so, um, my son, we had, a, we ended up having a little birthday party for him, um, the day that weekend, his birthday was October the 15th. Um, and which was actually the day we found out. Um, and his party was on October 13th. So y'all, I was like, at this point I'm thinking, okay, I need to go see the doctor. I'm starting to feel like um, um, tightness down there and it's starting to get really hard, hard and I'm like hey this feels familiar but I know this can't possibly be right because I took the the morning after pill right so I'm feeling knots that I let my husband feel it and he was like mm, what is that or whatever it was like little knots so I'm thinking at this point that I have cysts on my uterus like I mean I'm thinking that maybe I had it full-fledged but I did have a um you know, a very bad hormonal imbalance, which is kind of the same symptom. So I'm thinking that I've got 
the same cysts like on my ovaries and or I have some kind of like cancer I'm even thinking cancer y'all like it was just that bad so um my husband was like well maybe we need to go take a pregnancy test and I'm like well, I don't think so. I don't think I'm pregnant. I doubt I'm pregnant. You know, I'm just, it's just, it's just, I need to go see the doctor. I need to go and have an, an exam done or whatever. So, um, I said, well, maybe we just need to go just to clear the air, <laughs> just to kind of like, you know, get that one thing off of our chest so that we can move forward. Because at this point, I'm still looking for a job. No luck. I don't know why it is so hard to find a job. Like, it is ridiculous. And I have two degrees. Like, that's just, that just explains to you that just because you have a degree, it, does really, it really doesn't mean anything. Like, anyway. So, <laughs> um, what else? We go to the store and I buy two pregnancy tests. I get the little cheap pregnancy test, um, the 88 cent, <laughs> and um, he's like, you're not pregnant, you're not pregnant. I said, okay, well, you said that the first time. So I took the pregnancy test, went home. This is October the 15th. This is Monday, October 15th. And I took the pregnancy test, and you guys, I don't even think it had been 10 seconds, and the pregnancy test was positive. It just went it was just, it didn't even take, you know, it's supposed to take, you're supposed to wait for a few minutes, but it didn't take that long. It was as soon as I put that pee on that pregnancy test, it was over with. It was, it was confirmed that I was pregnant. So, um, I start calculating things and I'm like, oh my God, I haven't had a period since June. So I'm counting and I'm adding up <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so it's, basically almost five months so yes I am pregnant you guys and we waited for a while to tell our family we just basically actually told our family this past weekend and um you know I was devastated I'm not even gonna lie to you I was devastated I think I cried I probably cried for like the first week I was in tears because I'm like, Lord, how am I going to have a baby? And I'm trying to move and I'm trying to, you know, do all of these things in my life. And I'm trying to get myself out of this hole that I have been living in, out of this hell that I have been living in. Because y'all, it's been real. It's been, things have been tough. It has been tough around here. And, you know, it's, it's not only is it hard because you really can't get ahead, but it's hard because, you know, you, you want to enjoy your life. You want to go places and do things and you want to enjoy your life so that was like where i was at so i said you know i'm i'm very spiritual anyway and i said lord you know if you say that i have to have this baby and that is my right to have this baby that i'm gonna have this baby you know i mean it's obviously a reason for it and um it's a reason for it. So I'm just not going to worry about it anymore, y'all. And you know what? Ever since then, things haven't been perfect and things haven't been the way that I have wanted them to go. But things have been okay. You know, I can't really say that I have, it's been that bad. You know, things have been okay. And now that I know what's wrong with me, now that I know why I've been so tired and so emotional and just really not feeling the best now that I know what's wrong with me and why I have been eating so much and oh my god y'all I have been eating so much it's ridiculous and um so now I know and it just I was thinking you know a few weeks ago well a few days ago um that I was take I took my graduation pictures and I was looking at my pictures and I was like man something just looks different about me um, I just look different. I don't know what it is, but it just looks different. Um, I did notice that my hips started to spread a whole lot. I mean, oh my God. With my son, when I tell you guys that this pregnancy is completely different from my first pregnancy, it is completely different. I mean, nothing. I don't have the same cravings. I don't have, I'm, I'm just like way, 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 way moodier and way more just tired and just 
different. I just feel different. Um, I didn't have morning sickness, but I did get really nauseous all the time. I was really, really nauseous. And I did have morning sickness with my son. So that's kind of odd. I don't know what that that is. But um, I do, for those of you who don't know, I do drink alkaline water. And I know that alkaline water can kind of off offset a nauseous feeling to where you, you're not feeling so sick all the time. Um, so I do drink a lot of that and I don't know if that had something to do with it, but y'all, this is just, uh, this is completely a shock. I'm still in shock. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to show you guys my belly in a minute. I'm going to, um, what I have, what have I had any symptoms? Um, me and my husband, we want a girl. We really do want a girl. I don't really want to have a whole bunch of kids. So I'm hoping that this is a girl because if this is a girl, I want to be done. <laughs> want to have a whole basketball team of kids you know unless God says otherwise but um yeah so I um I'm gonna show you guys my belly and I think that is gonna be it you guys but I am a kind of I'm kind of a thick girl so y'all gotta bear with me so this is my belly and it's funny because I was actually trying to hold my belly in for the longest and I just couldn't after a certain point but this is my belly I'm not going to show y'all my belly belly like my, my real actual belly but this is my belly I'm I'm rounder this time um I don't know <laughs> so this is my belly from the side Hope, hopefully you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see and this is the other side I'm actually a little bit bigger this time around at this point than I was before um what was I gonna say and I also have been feeling movement um, and that was one of the main reasons why I decided to take a pregnancy test because I did feel some flutter some movement um, so I'm feeling I'm 19 weeks now so and we go next week to actually I haven't even been to the doctor yet y'all so you know no ultrasounds or nothing we don't even know what's going on in there so next week I go to the doctor and we, you know, see where I'm at and see how healthy the baby is and or whatever we need to do. I'm just praying for a healthy baby. You guys pray for me. Um, yeah. So that's it. And I will see y'all on the next video. I'm sorry this video was super long, but I felt like I kind of just needed to catch y'all up and let y'all know. Um, my nose is actually starting to spread. <laughs> it's annoying me it's like oh my god so yeah i will see you guys on the next video and until then peace